Hello everyone, this is Daniel Smiley and on behalf of Ozen Engineering Corporation I'm going to show you how to use Q3D extractor for calculating parasitic uh, parameter for the dilate here. So uh, what is uh, Q3D used for? It's uh, an application by ANSYS that uh, you can find a uh, uh, parasitic element of uh, your devices and uh, you can use it for high speed electronics or you go and use it for electric power distribution and power electronics so today i'm going to show you what the geometry looks like setting up the model swift frequency and then show you the result uh, who we are we are uh, ansys light channel partner uh, we have been uh, the america's channel partner of the year for three years and we sell ANSYS software for mechanical a thermal fluid a electrical software we do training mentorship and consulting if you need it and we have uh, three offices in, in North America and here how you can contact us so before further ado uh, let me show you how the uh, geometry is this is uh, what I have uh, and then uh, to make it more like a die in the industry I uh, added the, the bond wire here then cut this part and make it two die as you can see and one of them has four uh, bond wire, one has three. Uh, so here I, I created the, uh, the geometry manually. And as you can see, nothing is, is, is assigned uh, except this part that are copper, nothing is assigned. So next, I, we need to add the uh, sink, uh, sink, uh, sink in, in the model. Here as you can, as you can see, they are add. Uh, all you need to do is just uh, go on the face mode over here, select the part and then assign a source. You can name it. Uh, here we're going to use uh, constant voltage and then after that you'll do the same for the other uh, four here and the other three here. So once all that is done you will end up uh, having something like this. This is for the uh, source, but then you need to have also a sink. So down here, uh, you select this surface at uh, excitation, and you add it at the sink here. Uh, still, same thing, constant voltage. So I put temporary here, so you can see. Once I added that, it's it's added here. I'll delete it. I already done so so uh, we have done this part as you can see this is geometry and uh, we added uh, seven um, source and and two sink uh, here uh, the next step is to add material as you can see there is nothing assigned here except that the bond wire so on the next step as you can see I added the, the material here so I have copper, uh, which are these parts, the lead. I have the polyester, which is the, the cover. And then I have the bond wire and the die here. Uh, and here I have the, as you can see, the bond wires. So now that I uh, added material to everything, I'll go here and on the net I right click and say auto identify net the software automatically uh, find the net for you and as you can see we have two nets one is this guy and the other one is this part here since they are electronic electrically connected they're all considered as uh, one net and the software does that for you that's the beauty of a few 3D extractor. So after that, we need to add a uh, set up the model. As you can see, there is no uh, nothing under this analysis. So I need to say right click, add a solution setup, and I use one megahertz here. We need to have the it, uh, we're going to calculate the DC and AC, R and L. So we choose these two. We also save the field, and on the DC RL and AC RL. We leave them as the the default for now. 
so that's how we, we add analysis and uh, when I do so you'll see there will be a, a plus next to here and then you have the setup so I've done that and you can see that in the next uh, other letter I created uh, we have uh, analysis and as you know you know when we're looking at the the, the values we are usually interested to look at them as, as a wide range of uh, uh, frequencies so what we need to do next is to right click and add a sweep to uh, our analysis this is what you have by default so here we go and change them to interpolation uh, we have a linear setup view since we want to see it from uh, the DC so we go with a small uh, frequency uh, all the way to for instance 0.1 gigahertz on I'll use 400 uh, points then from 0.5 I'll go all the way to 2 or whatever uh, frequency you are uh, interested and then I hit OK so by adding that you see the sweep is added here so that's what I've done for uh, this model I already added the sweep here and after that uh, you, we can run it to look at the result but before doing so uh, before doing so, uh, we can go on automation. Uh, sorry, for on simulation, and hit on validate. So uh, you can ignore this. This uh, for now. There is uh, so once that is done, we can go on the result and uh, look at the result. The way we do the way we do it is uh, right click on the result and uh, go to matrix and uh, look at our rectangle of plot uh, we use uh, acrl use uh, uh, one of these leads and we make a new report as you can see it's, it's drawn here for uh, the inductance and uh, i just do the dc as well uh, same thing so I add trace, not apply trace, I add trace here and then close it and if it doesn't look familiar it's because uh, the x-axis is uh, not uh, logarithmic, it's linear. So when I do logarithmic, I say okay, this, is look, this looks like what you've seen before. So I'll go to result and here let me show you what, how the result looks like. Here is the result and if, if this doesn't look familiar it's because you know you've seen it uh, in logarithmic view so I'm going to change from linear to logarithmic and this is how the resistance looks like we can do the same for inductance so this is for the uh, L part um, so as you can see we, we calculated the inductance and uh, resistance on, uh, with the Q 3D extractor. I, I hope you enjoyed this video. And on the uh, next uh, series of this Q3D, I'm going to show you more features and more capabilities of the software. Uh, I wish you good luck, and if there's any question, please email us.